Hello, I'm Mike Hewitt, and I'm here to introduce you to a new project that we're getting started. This is uh, what we call our pre-demo video. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through this project and show you what we're doing and why we're doing it and stuff like that. And so you can see what this project looks like now versus what it's gonna look like when we're done. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna blow your socks off because this house is, in, it's messed up to be honest with you. And so we're gonna fix it. I actually was here um, we did a bathroom remodel for them and we'll show you that in this video here in a little bit but um, when I walked into this house and I told them right off I said oh you guys gotta let me help you with your kitchen family room because I can make it so much nicer and you're gonna see how cut up it is and how messed up it is and so we're gonna walk you through and show you what it's like right now and and so you can see what it's gonna look like when it's done if you see behind me here, do you see those stained glass windows? Aren't those cool? Those are amazing. Those came out of an old church in downtown Salt Lake. And one of the things that we are gonna do is you see how it has all the casing around the windows, the wood trim around the windows? We're gonna take all of that off and just have it just be sheetrock because all the, they wanna emphasize the stained glass and they feel like the, all the trim detracts from it. So that's one of the things that we're gonna be doing. Now, if you come over here, this is the living room or family room. Um, they, they don't have a, they don't have one or the other. This is this is the living room slash family room, probably is what you might want to call it. But I want you to kind of focus in on this fireplace. This fireplace is old. This house is old. In fact, by the way, we're going to call this house Grandpa's house because the people that live here bought it from their grandpa, and he did some weird stuff. Like Jessica, pan over here into this little space right here. See this this little niche in this wall? It totally messes up the kitchen, but they put it there so they could put an organ right there. Who does that? So over here, we're gonna get rid of all this brick on the fireplace, and we're gonna actually replace the fireplace with a direct vent natural gas fireplace where you just flip a switch for it to come on. And it'll heat this whole room really nicely, but also it'll make it so we can put a TV above the fireplace. And then we're going to put cabinets on either side. I have a 3D rendering that, uh, that you can see of this, what this fireplace is potentially going to look like. And so that's basically what we're doing in this room. We're actually replacing all the windows in the house, except for the stained glass windows. And then I'm going to take you into the kitchen. So let's go into the kitchen here. And I want to show you how messed up this kitchen is. It's so crazy how this kitchen is. So obviously you can tell this kitchen is old. They've, got, they've upgraded a few appliances, but um, this used to be the style in the old days is to put these soffits above the cabinets. And so we're going to tear all these soffits out and so the cabinets will go to the ceiling. And then we're gonna get rid of this lovely fluorescent light fixture and put in recessed can lights. But the most important thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this out. This whole wall is gone. And you can see how the, it totally got messed up by that organ space that they made. Made the range doesn't even go, it goes past the wall right here. And it sticks out this way and the cabinets are back in and then the fridge sticks out. So it's really kind of a mess. And so we're gonna take this all out and open this whole kitchen up to that family room space. So it'll be really super awesome. Now behind the camera, we have this pantry closet right here. So you can see they're getting ready for us to start demoing because they've been taking stuff out. We're actually, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna actually just put a wall right here and get rid of this pantry, it'll be dead space for now. We're gonna actually take all the sheetrock off so we can see what's going on. But the plan is, on a future remodel, we're gonna do the remodel of the master bathroom. And we'll, we'll pull that space into the master bathroom when we do that remodel. But for now, we're going to just close this wall off. So the kitchen's gonna come over this way and that way, and then we'll have an island over here. So it'll be really nice. In fact, there should be, a, you should be seeing about a 3D rendering of this kitchen and this room, what it's going to look like when we're done. 
So anyways, um, we're also going to take out this wall right here. So this wall's gone as well. So open the whole, this whole room will be opened up. You can see right here, there used to be some cabinets right here. And they were, um, one of uh, his, I think it was his sister, said she wanted them. So she came and took them out and took them to her house so she could put them in her house. And also, we found out some of the old vinyl that was on the floor. And they took that out, if you can see that. Isn't that crazy? So we have a couple layers of vinyl that we get to tear out. But again, this whole wall is coming out. And so we're going to, this, this whole space is going to be one big room. It's going to make, totally change the livability of this house. I'm excited to show you that transformation. Um, I'm going to take you one shot down, this, down the hallway and just kind of give you an idea of what we're going to do in the hall. So the hallway is kind of long and narrow. We're not really going to do anything to make it any bigger. Probably should turn the light on here. The one light that they have. <laughs> so what we're doing here is we're replacing all the doors and the casing on all the doors. And we're redoing the baseboards and the flooring for the whole main floor area, main area of the main floor is going to be a laminate plank that looks like wood. It's water resistant. So that's what we're going to be doing. All of these doors are going to be replaced and updated. And so um, <clears throat> let me show you the bathroom. So this bathroom is one that we remodeled. Um, we just finished it about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And um, so I just wanted to show it to you. This is something that we did. I'm sorry I don't have any before stuff to show you. But this bathroom, we, we, we didn't change the layout or anything, but we replaced everything in it. New tub, new t all new tile, new lighting, new, uh, new vanity and stuff like that. So it turned out really great. The homeowners really love it. And uh, as far as the decorating goes, they picked their own colors, picked their own tile and all that stuff. And we just installed it for them. And so it was a fun project for them, and I'm looking forward to doing, getting the rest of their house, the main part of their house anyways, ready to go. Okay, so I just stopped by the grandpa's house, and the guys have been here demoing all day. And I just want to show you a couple of things. We always find weird stuff when we're demoing. Like, for example, someone used pegboard up here to do their um, soffits with. So weird. And then... When we took um, the, this wall out right here, remember we talked about the organ was, that was right here. That's gone now. But then as we took this wall out, there was this conduit that was in the wall and there's nothing in it. It was just there. So anyways, and then one other thing I want to show you that's kind of unusual is over here under the sink, you see this, you see this pipe it goes down and over, and that was how they hooked up their dishwasher, which is really strange because dishwashers actually tie in a lot differently now. And so, anyways, you find all sorts of things when you're pulling a house apart. And so this is kind of our first day, demo day. You can see we have a huge mess to clean up still. We filled our dump trailer up once already, and it's uh, almost ready to go to the dump. So anyways, a little quick update. We've been doing a lot of demo. We've been busy. And so we want to just give you a quick update on what we're doing. Look at this pile of stuff that we have here. Isn't this crazy? And I'm standing here amongst the spaghetti bowl. All these are the wires that were in the walls that were here before. So this is the, the latest, newest technology. It's called wallless wiring. Not wireless, wallless wiring. So we're thinking maybe we'll try and leave this here. How would that be? <laughs> I also want to show you, give you a little bit of perspective of how messed up this wall was. Remember we talked about where the range was and the Oregon was and how cut up and messed up this wall was? I'm going to point you down here to the floor and show you just how messed up the wall was. So the wall started right here and it came over and this way and back and that was the coat closet. And then you have the wall that came across here where I'm standing right now was the Oregon. And then the wall went that way and that way. So messed up. And now, if, if you step back a little bit, you'll see just how much nicer this room is going to be. So I almost bumped into the wireless or the wallless wiring. Um, 
you can see how much nicer this is going to be for them when we get it all done. But my, my uh, electrician is going to have a lot of fun trying to figure this out. I was telling about him, telling him about, about it today. And um, I don't know if he's excited or not. I tried to minimize how much extra wiring there is floating around here, but it's, it's a little bit of a chore to figure out where everything's coming from, where it's going, and trying to find a new home for it and all that kind of stuff. Like, we got to try and figure out where to put these switches, right? But we'll figure it out and make it work. So we discovered something in Grandpa's house when we were doing demo. We discovered a leak from the master bathroom. And when we peeled up the, the linoleum or the vinyl that was on the floor, we saw water stains. And I'll show those to you. See, you can kind of see right in through here, you can see the line of the water stain. There's a big water stain. And then right over here in the closet, you can see that little different colored patch right there. That that was actually wet when we took the vinyl off. And this is the back of the shower. You can see the these, the plumbing for it. This actually shower was ahead of its time because it had two extra nozzles like a body wash in it. Now you can buy tower units to have that all built in. This one was kind of all plumbed in. It was kind of interesting. And I'll show it to you in a minute. But um, also... Remember we talked about we wanted to make this, um, use this closet to make the shower bigger because we're going to close this wall off for the kitchen. And so we looked in here and you can see there's some venting that's going through this space. We're actually going to take this venting and reroute it and move it over to the right, which means that we're going to be able to add over a foot to the width of the shower. And that's going to mean a lot. And I'll show you that in a second. So because of that water damage that we discovered, it would be, we got to fix it, right? And the master bathroom where I'm standing right now has been on the agenda to remodel, but probably not for a year or two. Um, but now it's necessitating that we remodel it because it's leaking from the shower pan, which you have to tear all the tile out and everything to fix it anyways. And so I quickly gave them an estimate to redo the master shower. And I helped them out a little bit with a discount because this is will be my third project in this house. And so I'm trying to help take care of them, make this a little less painful. But they're going to have to remodel their master bathroom in order to continue with the master or the kitchen remodel. So anyways, I wanted to show you this is kind of goofy looking. This is a really small shower. And I love the pink. Don't you love the pink? Pink is cool, huh? Who's Who thought of that? Anyways, and for those of you that I just offended by dishing pink, I'm sorry, didn't mean it. But look how small the shower is. Man, I can hardly move around in here without rubbing my shoulders on the walls. I know I'm not a little guy, but at the same time, this is a small shower. So we're going to be able to expand this shower probably over into here and make the shower a lot wider. We can't really make it any deeper, but we can make it wider. And so, and you can see the rest of the bathroom, we're gonna replace the vanity, put a new toilet in, put tile on the floor, and uh, replace the medicine cabinet and stuff. So it'll be nice to do it. We're gonna try and put it on the fast track and actually get it done before we get the kitchen done. Also, I wanted to show you that nozzles, the extra nozzles that are in the shower are so weird. You've got a nozzle right here that sprays straight out at you, and this one that sprays down onto your feet. How crazy is that? And then this valve right here turns those on. But I've done a lot of shower towers where I call them car washes because they have so many nozzles and stuff that you just have to stand there and turn around and you get all washed off. But this was done many, many years ago. We're talking grandpa did this. So anyways, that's unique in a home of this age to see something like that. So this is where the fireplace was. It still is, but do you remember the big, all the brick that we showed you on here? We got rid of all that brick and guess what we found behind the brick? More brick. And we thought we could take this out because it's kind of framed around it, but there's a, there's a lot of brick that's turned the other way and it ties into another layer of brick behind it, a cinder block. So we couldn't take this out. 
So what we decided to do is actually frame a wall in front of the brick. And so now this, the fireplace is going to bump out a little bit. It's going to give it some depth. And I think it's actually, for the better, it's going to look really nice. You can see we've installed the fireplace. I'll show you this. We have a nice glass fireplace here that we've installed. And um, you'll be able to just flip a switch to turn it on. And it has a little blower on it. And it will heat this whole room just perfectly. And so I wanted to show that to you. I think that's exciting. We're, we're going to put the TV right above the fireplace, one of those flat screen TVs. And so we're also going to redo this railing, all this railing over here. I've had my stair guy over to measure it, and I'm waiting for his price. But it's going to probably be a wood railing and a big square newel post right here. And then we're going to put wrought iron balusters in. And we're just kind of waiting to figure out what pattern we want to do. So we're excited. This project's moved along good. It's about time to get the electrician in here. Well, we're all ready for sheetrock. We just passed our four-way inspection this morning, and we have a few little miscellaneous things to take care of. The drywall guy's coming on Thursday. Um, but as you can see where I'm standing, they got rid of all my wallace wiring. I was, you know, I thought it would be a new trend, but they didn't like it, so we had to get rid of it. So we rewired and moved all the wiring around. There's a couple of wires hanging down here right now, but those are for... Um, can lights but they're going where there's no sheetrock right now so um, we also had a wire right here that we ran for an outlet on the island and we kind of cleaned up the plumbing over here so it's all ready for the cabinets to be installed we also demoed all the railing so no more railing until we get the new one new stuff to come in um, one thing i wanted to show you too is kind of a cool idea is over here there's going to be a mantle right about here above the fireplace. And this wire that's coming out right here is for an outlet that will sit on top of the mantle for like your holiday decoration, seasonal decoration. And, and it's going to be switched and the switch is over here. So there's a switch right here. There'll be a switch for, to turn the fireplace on and a switch to turn that uh, power, that plug on, on the mantle. So that'll be kind of fun for, Christmas decorations and stuff. Um, otherwise, there's not a lot done. I do want to show you the master bathroom, though, because remember we talked about trying to make that shower bigger? So let's go over there and check that out. So this is the shower. Remember the shower? Remember me standing in the shower and how small and cramped it used to be? Now look at it. Look how big the shower is going to be. We've been able, we were able to move this wall over quite a bit. In fact, this this vent we moved, this is the vent for the water heater downstairs. And we were able to move it from like right here over to here, which allowed us to make the shower a lot bigger. We put all new plumbing in, new, new shower valve and stuff. And then I, I don't know if you remember seeing or noticing, but there are two PVC vents for the furnace that were going up through the roof. In fact, if you come look right here, you can see up into the attic where we cut them off. With, with uh, high efficiency furnaces, they don't actually need to be vented vertically. They can be vented horizontally. So we just took those vents and redid them and just put them right out the back of the house. So it worked out great. It was fairly inexpensive to do and uh, just made it so it's a lot cleaner in here. So look how cool the shower is going to be. We replaced the floor here where the water damage was. And uh, we're going to try and put this shower back on the, on the fast track so we get this bathroom together maybe a bit quicker than we can get the kitchen done so they can start using the shower again. Well, the other thing we did is up here, we added a vent, an exhaust fan for the bathroom. Typically, the code says that if there's a window in the bathroom, then an exhaust fan is not required, which is crazy because in the winter, when it's 25 or 30 degrees outside, you don't want to open your window while you're taking a shower. And so now, they can turn the fan on when they're taking a shower. Plus we added, there's gonna be cam light up here above the shower as well. So they'll have light in their shower. And uh, so if you use the restroom and you want the fan on, you can turn it on. Or if you're taking a shower, you can turn the fan on and you don't have to open the window. So grandpa's house transformation is continuing. We've got all the cabinets in for the entertainment center around the fireplace. And I love those gray, these are gray painted countertops. And you'll see that they match 
the gray on the eyelid, which we'll show you in a second. And my cabinet guy made the mantle, just a simple contemporary mantle. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is we put an outlet, or we will be putting an outlet in right here on the top of the mantle. And it's tied to a switch over there so that they can put a few uh, seasonal lights or decorations or whatever and tie them to a switch. But isn't this cool? We don't have the shelves in yet. I guess the cabinet guy ran out of shelf pins. <laughs> But uh, but the shelves are nice and thick looking, so it's going to be a really cool entertainment center. And then over here is the kitchen. Check this out. What do you think? Pretty awesome, isn't it? I love the white cabinets, the shaker style, which is the shaker style has the flat panel here and a pretty simple detail here. And then look at the island. It's got gray. Uh, a lighter shade of gray like the countertops on the entertainment center. A couple other things I wanted to show you is um, this is the granite that they're going to put on here. So it's a really nice dark gray granite. And then down here is the laminate flooring that we're going to be putting in this whole room. So it's a really nice product. It's a water resistant flooring made by AquaGuard. It's a great product for installing. A couple things that you might really like about these cabinets, if you come around this way, is that, look how big these drawers are. Isn't this cool how wide they are? Nice and big. And then, of course, everything in here has the self-closing doors. Have you ever seen those? This is a self-closing hinges. So when you get it to a certain point, it automatically closes. So our dishwasher is going to go right here, range and microwave right there. And you're going to love this microwave. If you've watched any of our other videos, this microwave is the new kind that's not nearly as tall, but still plenty adequate for anything that we typically do in a microwave. Coming down the hallway here, um, I did want to show you how cool this, this is a side panel of the fridge. Originally, I had planned to build a wall right here. But my cabinet guy said, no, let me do a panel right here. And he just did a beautiful job with this panel. Down the hallway, we are replacing all of their doors. So you see these are really cool craftsman style doors. And um, what we had to do, we had to coordinate it because some of these doors are bathrooms or one bathroom and several bedrooms. And so I coordinated with my door shop. So we took all the doors off, took them to them in the morning, and then they matched them up and milled these doors so that the doorknobs and the hinges are in the same place that they were on the old doors so that they all work great. This one, so all the everything works great, and they just matched right up so we didn't have to replace all the jams. So now I'm in the bat master bathroom. And you remember when we started, we started it because of – the, the shower floor was leaking. And if you remember how dinky the shower was before, again, look at how much, it, now that it's sheetrock, it looks even bigger than it did last time I stepped in it for you. So it's all sheetrocked. And if you look down on the floor, the, the tiles, it's prepped for the tile. We put a wire mesh down there and fill it with a, a thin set mortar material. And then I'm standing in this membrane See this membrane that's in here? This is all part of the shower pan. So that we actually filled it with water and let water sit in it for a couple of days just to make sure it was waterproof. And um, so we tested it, it's all good to go. So now we fill it with, with some concrete and get it all to slope to the drain. The drain that we put in has these threads on it so it's adjustable so that the tile guy can adjust it up and down depending on how he wants to do his slope. Then also, if you look underneath here, we did what we call a pre-float. You see that concrete there? So we pre-floated it before we put the rubber in that kind of helps it to get to the drain so we don't have to put so much slope of concrete on when we do the top of the membrane. Also, I wanted to show you, here's another one of our benches, a styrofoam bench. That's gonna go right in that corner and we'll cover it with tile and it works great. And you don't have to worry about any wood warping or anything like that, it's perfect. And then this will be the tile on the floor in the shower. The nice cool pebble look. 
and we'll probably put it on the back of the niche. Here's one of those niches. We buy these niches like this, so they're all one piece, so we don't ever have to worry about them leaking. And then you can get this shelf, and that goes in here, and you can put it wherever you want. I always put it like right about here, so you have a place to put your razors and soap and stuff right here, and then all your shampoo and conditioner and stuff on top of that. So there's your update on Grandpa's house. We're outside of Grandpa's house, and one of the things that I haven't really talked much about in this video is that we replaced all the windows in the house. It had old aluminum windows that, um, well, they might have been vinyl, but they were really old, and the insulation wasn't good in them at all or anything, and so we replaced all the windows in this house. And they originally had those plastic shutters on the sides of these windows, and I looked at them after we took them down, and I said, you know, why don't you let me build you some new shutters? And so, so I built these in my shop, and these are nice new rough-sawn cedar shutters that we made, and they picked out the stain for them, and we installed them, and man, it looks so nice out here. So, and I made them out of uh, um, cedar fence slats, so it was really easy and reasonably inexpensive, but uh, I think it looks great on this house, so. So we're all ready for paint. I wanted to show you, um, we did get the countertops installed in the kitchen. Sorry, the granite's already covered up, but uh, we got the sink installed. And um, I tried to get in here earlier before the painter so we could get everything before he masked it off, but he got started. So, so the countertops are all new and all in. And then over here, check out the railing. We got the railing all installed. We got these really cool newel posts and they have the same um, craftsman pattern on them that are, that are on the doors on the cabinets. And, and then we recased this wall around all these stained glass windows and it turned out really nice. We actually custom made the, the trim in our shop because um, it's thinner because they want, really want to emphasize the windows. And so we tried to do everything to kind of minimize the trim. And so we made it thinner. We put a header in above the door and a header in at the top of the windows, which matches how we trimmed out the, the doors. So, you know, the doors have a header above them. That's a real craftsman style to do that. And then down here, we got the, um, the vinyl down here, or sorry, the laminate floor in down here. And uh, again, this railing, before there was just a little piece of handrail right there, but now we have it continuous and it comes over and we put in a really nice mill post right here. You may remember one of the earlier videos um, that this had a um, really yucky threshold and um, there was actually tile that was in here was also outside. And so we've redone the threshold and it turned out really nice. Gives it a nice finished look here. And so we're getting really close to being done with this. Um, once the painter gets done, we just have a few things to wrap it up. But I do want to show you the bathroom because remember, we remodeled the master bathroom. So um, it's all done. So let's go take a look at that. So we finished the master bath, as I showed you, told Jen. So check it out. We got the glass on, the shower. And uh, everything else is all done, the countertops, the cabinet. Um, it looks great. It turned out really nice. Look how much nicer that shower is than it was earlier. We got a little paint touch up to do still, but wow, what a great improvement over that little pink tiled shower that we used to have. So we heard hurry to try and got this done for them before we got the kitchen done so that they could use it because they have a, you know a bunch of people in this house and they're all trying to share a bathroom on the main floor and one downstairs and so it's nice for them to have the master bathroom back hi there as you can see we finished grandpa's remodel and it looks amazing um, i want to show you some stuff and kind of walk you through it and let you see what we got what we got done here and how cool it looks first off 
check out this kitchen. Isn't this beautiful? So gorgeous. And um, I want to show you some of the features in this kitchen. So this pantry that we put in, it's got lots of storage in it. It even has an outlet in the back of it. This is the charging station. <laughs> um, over here, this has one of those um, faucets that you just kind of wave your hand and it goes on and off. You do have to have the lever on, but um, I love these. We've been doing these in a few kitchens, these big wide drawers. Look how cool that is. Can you just imagine all the cool stuff you can put in there and keep organized? There's a couple of big drawers for pots and pans and stuff. And then um, I love this oven. This is a double oven. So it's a range that's the same size as a typical range, but you get two ovens in the same place as one. You don't have the drawer like you normally have on a range, but this oven right here is my favorite because it, it uh, preheats just like that. It's amazing how fast it preheats. You know how long? I have to wait. It seems like half an hour for my oven at home to preheat. So I love this. And most of your cooking you'll do in this oven. And then, of course, if you've seen some of my other videos, this is my favorite microwave. Check it out. It's thinner, which gives you more cabinet space on top. And look how roomy it is inside. It's got plenty of room in it for 95% of what you would cook in a microwave. And then also, I got the little finger from Jessica, my videographer. She wants me to show you the garbage can. You can actually put two garbage cans in here, one for trash and one for recycling. How cool is that? And then up here is a space for bigger stuff with some dividers in it for cookie sheets and things like that. And so... You probably saw, may have seen in the videos, the old white fridge that they have, just a little top mount freezer. This is like a whole condo all by itself for them now with this big fridge. So this is the kitchen. These, these uh, pendant lights were custom made for them. And we probably should have those on. Let me turn those on real quick. Really cool lights. So now let's take a minute and we're gonna look at this floor. Look how cool this floor looks. This is a laminate floor and it's water resistant. So very seldom would you have to worry about any water damage on this floor. Like water can sit on it for like a day and a half and still wouldn't damage it. Um, and so it turned out really nice. But then we want you to pan around and take a look at this entertainment center. Take a look, take a look at this entertainment center that we've done. Isn't this cool? Look at all the storage that they have. It's all built in, all the shelves are adjustable. And the space above the fireplace was designed for that TV. And then this is a natural gas direct vent fireplace. It'll heat this whole room. It's got a blower on it that kicks on after it's been on for a minute. And this tile is gorgeous. This is one of my favorite tiles, especially for a fireplace. I love it. I've done it uh, one other time and I think it looks great. Also, at the top of the um, mantle, we put a plug right here. You can see this plug. And this is for Christmas decorations. And that plug is tied to a switch that's over here. So you flip this switch and that plug will come on. So you can use it for seasonal decorations and stuff like that. Not a lot of room there because the TV is so big, but you can still use it for that. And then I want to tell you a little story about this backsplash. This backsplash is really cool. A lot of my customers get their tile from, and flooring from Floor & Decor. And um, I went to our local Floor & Decor store in the Southern Salt Lake Valley, and I needed 40 pieces, 40 12 by 12 pieces, and they only had 13. And then I went to um, their downtown Salt Lake store and they didn't have any. And then their Northern Utah store only had like uh, 15 pieces. And so the only way I could get this tile and get it done and, and, and done in time so we could get them moving into this wonderful new remodel is I had to drive to Vegas to get it. 
So I, as soon as I realized what was going on, I left for Las Vegas from here and drove all the way down there. And I got there 15 minutes before they closed. And I picked up the tile and drove straight back. And then the next day, the tile guy laid the tile. There was also a problem in that some of the tiles that they gave us had the wrong interlocking pattern. And so we couldn't use some of them or we had to modify them to use them. Fortunately, I got some extra and we were able to make it all work. But doesn't that backsplash look amazing? Now, while you're, while you're there, look down the hallway there. Isn't that, that hallway is so much nicer than it was. We've added those recessed can lights, which give, it, which give it a lot more light. And then we've replaced all the doors and the trim in the hallway as well. We put these five panel craftsman style doors in. And then the trim, the casing around the doors has the header above it. And it looks really super nice. And then of course, the first door on the left is a bathroom that we remodeled a little while ago. And then last door on the left is the master bedroom. And if you recall earlier in the video, we, we found the leak from the master shower when we were doing our demo. And part of this remodel is we remodeled that bathroom. So you'll see some of that video of that finished bathroom here pretty quick as well. It turned out really nice. We made the shower bigger. It's really awesome. So I also want to point you to, the, um, to this railing right here. This is all new railing. And... Um, we did, the homeowners chose this double baluster combo. That's really cool, looks really nice. The railing guys didn't get that memo and they originally did the whole thing with single balusters and they had to take it apart and redo it because we had ordered the double balusters. But if you look at the stained glass window over there, see how we did all the trim around that? We were just gonna do like a, a drywall trim around all those windows because the trim that was there before was really ugly and distracting. And when we started taking it apart, we realized we couldn't take the jam off because that's what was holding the windows in. And so we wound up, I wound up custom making this trim in my shop and uh, we put that on. It's thinner than their normal trim, but we still kind of got the header look on uh, on the window and it just turned out so nice. And, it, and I think the trim now complements the glass in the window. Another thing that I think is kind of fun that we did is this window sill right here. Originally it was three different plastic window sills and we made it as one continuous window sill. So it made it look really nice. Now, a couple things I wanna help you remember from the beginning of this video. Do you remember there's originally a wall right here and about right here where I'm standing is where Grandpa used to keep his organ. And then if you remember my Wallace wiring, that Wallace wiring was right here. All that wiring hanging from the ceiling with the switches and stuff like that. That was about right here where I'm standing. And of course, nobody wanted to keep the Wallace wiring. So we had to find homes for all of that wiring. And then we added all these recessed can lights in the ceiling, which totally makes the space so bright and livable. It's amazing. I'm like ready to get my camp chair and sit down and watch TV. In fact, we were going to have my YouTube channel playing on the TV, but we decided not to do that. So anyways, we hope you enjoy watching this video of the transformation of Grandpa's house. And this is a huge transformation. And um, if you like what you saw and want to see more, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. We would love to show you some of the projects that we're doing as, as we continue to move forward. I have a big deck remodel that we <clears throat> we shared a couple of video, uh, preview videos on that we're just about done with that. And so keep coming back to our channel. If you, if you subscribe and then hit the little uh, bell button, then uh, YouTube will notify you whenever we upload a new video. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.